Today's activity, we are exploring the structure and function of the cell membrane using bubbles. So bubbles and the cell membrane are both molecularly constructed the same way with two layers of molecules. This allows the membranes to be flexible so the cells are able to move without popping. Um, it allows the cells to self-repair, so there are many times when small molecules or proteins need to come from the outside environment inside the cell or from inside the cell to the outside. And this property of the cell membrane allows those molecules to pass through the membrane without popping it. The other thing that's important is that the membrane is fluid, and so this means that those proteins and molecules can sort of float around in, in the, the membrane itself. Today, we're gonna to be using a model of the cell membrane by using bubbles. If you have bubbles at home, that's great. If not, then we can actually make our own bubble solution. playing with your cell membrane and see if you can discover some other properties. <laughs> 